Hi you guys, it's your girl Jolinda and I'm back again today with another video. Today you guys, I had a lot of errands to run. I had uh, to take my mom to her doctor's appointment and then um, I went and peeked in at a couple of stores for some St. Patrick's Day decor. And I think I want to go and I think I'm going to just save that part for tomorrow's video. I'm going to go ahead and go to um, TJ Maxx, Ross, uh, Home Goods. Um, we have a new Home Goods in the town, in the, in the town close to us. So I'm going to go to that Home Goods and I'm going to get some really cute stuff for St. Patty's Day to decorate the house with. Um, I didn't get to do that today because I had too many other errands I needed to run. So I didn't get a chance to go into those stores, but I will get a chance to go into those stores tomorrow. Uh, I'll have more time and um, be able to look a little more. So I'm going to share with you what I do have and what I am putting out already. Uh, that's for St. Patrick's Day um, that I had already. So let me show you. There's more in the garage. I, I, I just got to go out there and get some of the stuff that I need. But um, let's start with what I have now. I have these cute little uh, tea towels. I call them tea towels. A lot of people call them kitchen towels or um, hand towels. I mean, well, I guess not hand towels, but kitchen towels. And then I have this really cute little um, uh, pot holder that my nephew made uh, years ago. I can't remember how old he was when he made it, but he made it in, I believe, junior high school. Isn't that a good, that's a great job. And it's so pretty. I mean, it's so St. Patrick's-y. So I use it every year at St. Patrick's Day. He'll be glad to know that I use it. Glad to see it on the video. Um, but yeah, so it, the tea towel my sister got me, Angela, she's always picking up stuff for me. She just, she spoils me and I love it. Okay, so this is the pot holder that goes with the tea towel. And I thought that was really, really cute. And I had some kind of lime green um, kitchen towels that I had from Easter. And I have more of those in the garage. And I'm just going to I'm just gonna um, pull out those um, totes for Easter because I think I have some more St. Patrick's Day mixed in with Easter uh, that I put in last year because I didn't have a... St. Patrick's Day tote yet for, for St. Patrick's Day so I just kind of added things to the Easter tote um, it had room so I just went ahead and added some things to it you guys I tried to wrap my hair last night and because I flat ironed it yesterday it looked really nice yesterday and I tried to you know do the right thing and wrap it at night so it's okay the next day but you guys my wrap comes off at night I just have to just confess my wrap guys I'm one of those people that my wrap does not stay on at night um, I wake up and it's on the floor somewhere or it's under the covers or something weird I mean I, I, I just can't keep a wrap on I um, guys I was just wondering um, do you guys remember seeing anything um, any st. Patrick's Day candy I mean I think I remember just seeing the gold, um, the gold chocolate coins um, in the stores for, um, I mean, the gold chocolate coins. That's what I, you know, like pot of gold, you know, for the leprechaun and the Irish and all of that. Um, I've seen the pot of gold with gold chocolate coins in it in in them i've seen that before but i don't remember if i've seen it's crazy i don't remember if i've seen any other candies that they have at saint patrick's day time i'm not sure i'm gonna have to look for that because i mean i don't you guys i'm not a big 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 sweet eater i will have a sweet from time to time but i'm not a huge huge um sweet eater you know but I just I just like to have stuff for um you know just have stuff for the holiday you know and it helps with decor and everything you know so that's why I do that I mean but we're not eating sweets like that you guys they they like I still have all of the Valentine's Day candy um just about all of it still 
we have some of the Valentine's Day um, snack cakes and stuff that we got at Valentine's Day time. We still have it. But, I mean, you know, it's just, you have to go all the way there. You have to go, you have to get everything that's available to you for the holiday. That's how I feel anyway. So, that's why I do that. But, like I said, I'm going to go and get whatever... Uh, St. Patrick's Day things that I have in the garage. I'm going to go get them and bring them in and just see what I have versus what I need to get. You know, I, I, I just don't see a whole lot of stuff at every store. I do know that um, places like TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, places like that have little whatnots and um, doodads is what I call them and put them, you know, put them around and, <laughs> you know, things that you can set around at your house for the holiday so i'm gonna do that too so stay tuned so guys yeah i just wanted to come on and make sure that you guys knew i hadn't forgotten about you that i was gonna make a video today and show you what i have here at home already as far as saint patrick's day goes uh, and then i know for sure that i need to shop some more uh, i need something for my uh, two tier tray Got to have some stuff for that. Uh, I've seen some cute stuff on Amazon that I may uh, order. If not, if I don't find something at the stores that I named before, then I will definitely uh, go on Amazon and, and pick those things up on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, um, did some errands today for my mom and got her all squared away. And so tomorrow, I got a couple of more errands with her and for her and but I'm gonna have way more time tomorrow to go into those stores and look until I find some things that I can bring home yeah so I didn't want to leave you guys hanging without a video today so I wanted to go ahead and make sure I made a video um kind of kind of keep you up to date on what I'm doing and how I'm how I'm how I'm gonna do it um so that you don't think I've forgotten you guys. I don't I don't like you to think I've forgotten you. I never forget you. Um I just sometimes have um a lot going on and you know helping her out. My mom doesn't drive, so uh most places that she goes, I take her. So that's always been the thing. So <laughs> that's that's just how it is. So she doesn't drive. So I have to I have to make sure she gets where she needs to go. So a lot of times um, when I make a video, and if it's not a long video, it's probably because I had some errands to run that I, you know, needed to take care of for her. So, and you know, moms come first. So and whenever I have time after I've done her things, then I make videos. So yeah. So like I said, green is what we're looking for. So we're, we're looking for St. Patrick's Day things. Um, if you guys have any ideas, if you saw anything cute anywhere and I need to go to that particular store, comment down below. Let me know what store that is and what you saw. And if you got pictures, leave a picture of it. Um, yeah, I'd be happy to hear from you guys. Uh, yeah, so that's what I've done so far. And in the living room, you know, I... It's hard for me to really do what I really want to do in the living room because I don't have a whole lot of stand plate um, area or room. Um, it's mostly, I mean, I don't I don't have a lot of room to put things on stands in the living room. So um, I have a couple, I'd have my entryway table, of course. I'm gonna do it, of course. I always do it um, and whatever, whatever the holiday is, I do it for that holiday. And speaking of, I can turn on my diffuser. Camera's a little blurry. What's going on? And I'm going to turn it green for St. Patty's Day. Oops, I passed it. Going too fast. There it is. Nice and green for St. Patty's Day. And, you know, I'm going to buy some stuff to go on my entryway table of course you know I always do it um, I like to do it nice 
And then I have my other stand over here that's empty and all ready for whatever I'm gonna, um, whatever I'm gonna put on it. So it's empty for that reason. I have emptied it, now I need to clean it. And I, you know, I'll um, do it nice, clean with me before I decorate so that you guys can see me clean the areas that I'm gonna decorate. So let me show you guys what I found in the garage. Not much. Um, like I said, I don't have very much um, St. Patrick's Day stuff. But let me show you what I found um, in the Easter stuff. Um, you guys know my most of my Easter stuff is lime green. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of top things off with the lime green. Uh, green pops of green around um, in the kitchen and that just kind of helps bring in some of the the St. Patrick's Day vibes. I found these um, two green platters and you guys know I like to put my platters in the kitchen somewhere. Um, yeah so I do that in the kitchen. I have green bowls for whatever I'm gonna do. Um, I'll have green bowls to use. I found these. These are yard sticks. Um, so I'm probably going to put them in the yard. It says Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So I thought that was cute. So that's about the only St. Patrick's thing. St. Patrick's Day thing that I have. Um, that I won't have to go buy. So yeah, that's that's coming out of the garage. So I'm not sure if there's more or if this is it, but we'll see. I, I definitely need more stuff, that's for sure. That's no doubt. Also have this little candy dish. Let me show you it. I have this little candy dish as well. And it's it's nice addition too. It's just it's green. It's usually used for Easter too. Like I said, I use lime green a lot. A lot of my Easter stuff is lime green. That's why I have so much lime green stuff that I can pull out. Um, there may be more in my in some to in down in the middle of those totes, but that's as far as I went. What I saw is what I got. And like I said, some of this stuff is I've had a while, and it's just time to upgrade. Time to go and add to. You know, I need to add to the collection that I have, which is very minimal. So yeah. I've got some shopping to do guys okay guys also got a, another question for you what are you guys cooking for st. Patty's Day um, I know you're supposed to do the corned beef um, and cabbage I think it is corned beef and cabbage um, I've never done that I, I'm not opposed to it I just would have to go and look up some recipes on it you guys comment down below let me know what you guys are gonna eat on st. Patrick's Day I mean you know I've done the green eggs and ham for breakfast. Uh, I've done green beer before. Um, I just, I've never really known what to cook on St. Patty's Day. I mean, other than, you know, the green stuff for fun. Um, I don't know what to, you know, I might try to do a corned beef roast. I guess it's a roast. Corned beef roast with cabbage and I don't know what else. Um, if you guys have any ideas along what to eat for St. Patty's Day, please comment down below. Let me know what it is. And if you have something that you cook that's really good and, and you know people rave about it, let me know what it is. And if you if you're not opposed to giving me the recipe, give me a recipe for corned beef roast. Because I've never cooked one before. Uh so I mean you know I'm a pretty good cook. I'm pretty sure I can I can figure it out and I can I can get it you know but if somebody has a recipe they want to share with me please comment down below and then maybe message me on Instagram um, you guys go to all of my other social media sites and and follow or subscribe or uh, like and comment um, friend me on all of my other social media it's all Julian DeGray on all the social media it's pretty much all of them uh, Facebook Instagram, TikTok, um, of course YouTube. Yeah, you guys go over and follow me and 
subscribe to me and friend me and all of that good stuff. Um, and we can communicate that way too. And I want to also mention that I've got a giveaway coming up, you guys, uh, real soon here. And in order to win the giveaway, I'm not going to say what it is yet. I'm not ready to say what it is yet, but there's definitely a giveaway coming up in the very near future. And you guys, one of the rules is that you have to be subscribed um, to my YouTube channel. You have to have followed me on Instagram and um, also on TikTok. Uh, I'm not, I don't do Facebook a whole lot, so I'm not going to include that in the in the sweepstakes or not sweepstakes um, in the giveaway. In the you know that's not going to be one of the rules. The rule is if you want to win, you have to be subscribed to me on YouTube, follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and I will check. And <laughs> believe me, I check. Um, yeah, giveaway coming real soon. You guys, if I were you, I start subscribing and following now so that I mean you know if you're active on my on my um, on my post I'm gonna keep you in mind so start getting active you guys I'm gonna be watching and and I got other people that are watching I have moderators that watch as well so yeah uh, sweepstakes you want to call it sweepstakes I'm not gonna call it sweepstakes let's call it a giveaway let's just keep it a giveaway um, giveaway coming soon so watch for details you guys that's all for today thank you for joining me and you guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go down hit your subscribe button also hit your notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video and you won't miss any of my videos and I will see you guys in the next video bye